Hello, I'm Dr. Brian Fraser, and in this video I'll be showing how to install CLion, a C and C plus IDE, under Linux. So I have here a relatively clean uh, Linux install in a virtual machine. It can be a native install, that's fine. First thing I need to do is download the, the editor. So that's going to be in uh, HTTPS colon slash slash jetbeans, www.jetbeans.com, and then I want to go forward slash here to just CLion. You can probably Google the same. From here, I want to download the actual installer. So under the download links, I can select my OS. I'm under Linux, and so I'm going to say download. Uh, you can imagine I click this now. I happen to have already done that just to save a bit of time. Um, one other thing to do while you're here is to, after you're downloading, to actually try and get a license for it. It comes with a 30-day trial, at least this version does. But um, to excuse that beyond that, you need to have some form of license. You can pay for it if you are a business and so forth, as shown here. The other thing you can do is get a discount or complimentary license. Importantly, for my usage, uh, students and teachers uh, receive a free copy. So you can click on the free, uh, scroll down, apply online, and then just start typing in. So I am university related, so I can select what I am, enter all my information, and apply for it. They'll then email it to you, and it'll be a nice, very long uh, code that you can enter later. So let's go and install it. So it'll download here under my downloads folder. Uh, it's a tar.gz file. So I could do this from the command line and uh, figure out all the commands I need to do that. Um, the most simple-minded way, though, is to simply double-click on it, and it opens up in the um, archive editor. So what I'm going to do is, on my thing on the left, I'm going back to my home folder. On the right, I'll simply click and drag the CLion folder into my home folder. Um, this will be a relatively big in file, a big folder, so you want to make sure you're not using up some sort of shared space or other. But it'll be good enough. So here I have it, the C Lion folder. So this is under my home folder. I've got a C Lion, and this is a 2016 2.2 is the current version I can get. And in here, if I go into it, under the bin folder, for the binaries, the one I want to run is clion.sh. So it's a shell script. You can have a look through it if you wanted, it's just plain text on what it does to launch. But just double clicking will give you the options. Do you want to run in terminal? And yes, that's what I want to do. It launches a new terminal for me and runs it. So, uh, in this case I have not yet launched this. So I Um, I'm going to click Evaluate for free. You could say Activate and then uh, put in an activation code, which is uh, some big encrypted string they've sent you via email. So I'm just going to say Evaluate for free. Uh, carefully read the license and see so go from there. You can select your color scheme. I'm just going to uh, go with the default. Um, I'll go with all the defaults here for their installs. You can configure a bunch of different uh, uh, integration tools and so forth. Um, I'm not going to need any of those. I create a desktop entry for integrating with the system. That sounds pretty good. And start using. So now in the future, I should probably be able to go through the Ubuntu um, menu there and uh, be able to launch the program. So from here I've got the program up. Uh, you won't see this usually, but I'm going to say I want a new project give it a name. So, let's go with the default path there. Let's go with Hello World, because it's the first thing you'll always create. Loads up, give me some nice tips if I wanted them. I'm just going to skip that. And here we have their version of Hello World. On the left hand side is the project. I can expand the Hello World and it'll show me all the files. Here's main.cpp. Um, in a number of cases, you'll load it up and it may even look like this where you've got nothing loaded uh, in which case it maybe didn't have some project settings from before you can it says here alt 1 so project view or you can go to view and there should be some project view in here somewhere um, basically alt 1 will then pop up the project thing on the left which is what I, re what I really want to show so here's my code and in this case I can then run it so I can go to run and run build all I need to, uh, what I need to do here, program, arguments, I don't need anything. Uh, oh, executable. 
So I need to drop down here, select what to run. Hello world is the only one I need, and I'll run that one. So now when I run it, it comes up here with hello world. Uh, just to prove this is live, this is my test. And I can type shift F10 again to run it, and it'll recompile and rerun the program. If I've got some sort of syntax error, it will show me a little underlining there, a little tiny red underline. If I try and run the program now, it'll rebuild and say, hey, something went wrong, build failed, and I can click on the link, and it'll take me right to the line. Now note that it's actually showing me the next line after. Um, it says missing semicolon. You might be inclined to do this. It'll then work, but that's not the way that we write the programs. The semicolon ends a statement, not begins a new one. So this is what, we're what we are really looking for. Okay, so that's the uh, the basics on how to get it running. Uh, one other thing I want to show is how to import a an existing uh, project. So I should have here. Let me go into my. Let me close that just to get out of here. So yes, I want to close. Uh, if I want to rerun C Lion, I can go up here, click on the Ubuntu logo, type C Lion, and now it's got a launcher. As that launches, I'm going to go back to my file system. Under, oops, keep trying to go to my file system. I think I've got, I created a folder here called C Lion Demo, and in it I've got a folder for multi program. It's a project, and I've got three different main.cpps. Let me just display them. They're all going to be a Hello World program Hello World 1, Hello World 2, and Hello World 3. In a number of cases, particularly in introductory projects and so forth, you might have a task you're trying to do and you've got four different maybe .cpp files building four different executables. Maybe they're different parts of an assignment, for example. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a project and import these three files, these will be three different programs, into the same project. So to start with, I'm going to go to File, Import Project. I don't really have a project already, but I do have files, so that's a good enough place to start. And so under my Home folder, I've got my CLion Demo folder I had created with my files in it. Maybe I downloaded these files off some uh, web page for the course I'm in or something like that. I'll click OK. When I select the folder, it says, well, do you want to include all of these .cpp files? Yes, I do. And let's go with a this window. I don't want to have two projects open at once. So now I've got my project on the left. I'll expand it out. And we can see here all of the different uh, .cpp files that are inside of my project. I'll just open them up and we can actually see what they look like. So same thing, just to change the 1 to 2 to 3. If I now try and compile this, so I'll go Shift F10, it wants me to select an executable. Um, it's automatically building one executable for the project. If I say Run, it's not going to compile. The issue here is each file will compile, but we're going to have multiple definitions of the main function. So when it tries to link them together, it's not going to be able to link. So main dot main who.cpp has a main function and it's conflicting with the other mains. So what I need is some way to exclude these ones. Now the easiest way to do that is open this cmakelists.txt file. This controls how CLion is going to build my project. I'm first off going to start, I'm going to put an enter on this line here just to uh, make it that I've got each of my files, main 1, 2, and 3, on their own line here with no other syntax around them. And I can say, well, let's just do main 1. So I'm going to comment out these two by adding a uh, hash at the beginning of the line. You can go control um, slash to do a, um, a commented out as you would normally in a hotkey for this editor. So I add a hash at the beginning and it comments out these two. And now I'm left with, I'm telling my project I only want to build main1.cpp. I'm going to tell it to enable auto reload, so it just automatically reloads this file whenever it can whatever changes have been made, and I'm going to rebound my program, so Shift F10. Oops. I'm going to go back to my CPP file, Shift F10, and now it actually works, because I've only got one main in my project. I'm going to go here, and I'm going to comment out this line. I can switch to main 2, so when I go back to my code, doesn't matter which one, Shift F10, it runs, and now it's running this other executable. 
which is to say this code here, which is doing something else. If I go into this one here, I can actually change it any way I like. This is the third program. If I run it now, no change, because I have not yet told the project that I want to switch to it. So I have to check out this CMake list all the time every time I want to switch between what I am actually going to run. I build and run. So I'm going to get rid of the main 2, go to main 3, and then shift F10, and it now runs the application I'm interested in. Um, okay, that's all I wanted to show here. So we've seen how to download and install it, uh, run it through the GUI, create a simple Hello World program, and then work with multiple different CPP files to uh, import them into the project and then select which one is going to compile. If you're using a uh, larger project that has multiple CPP files in it by design into one project that builds one executable, you would not need to go through and comment out these because they would all build together. You wouldn't have any naming conflicts. There'd only be one main function in the entire project by default. Alright, thank you very much for watching.